Serena Elizabeth and welcome and welcome back to my channel. Hey girls, I have missed you. Hey guys, I've missed you. It's been a while since I've been able to do a video like this. I think well, last week I was sick with the vid <laughs> and then um, the week before that um, it was Easter and so I wasn't able to really come up with what I wanted to talk about for the month of May. So here we are halfway through the month and um, I'm just getting a chance to kind of talk about or, or get back on here and do our usual midweek video. So I am excited to be back. Um, I'm not actually doing what I plan on talking about for the rest of the month or for the upcoming weeks. But what I wanted to do was just like a quick, fun little q and I have gotten some new subscribers, some new members to the Girl Tribe. So I just wanted to do like a reintroduction for those of you who don't know me and um, just kind of break the ice with, with that. So I have some questions um, that I am going to answer. And of course, if there's anything else that you guys want to know about me that I haven't already discussed, or you'd like me to talk about it a little further, just leave it in the comment box below. And of course, I will either respond to you directly there, or maybe I'll make a video out of it. Um, if you haven't already, here is the time, sis. What are you waiting for? Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe so you can join the Girl Tribe. Over here, we talk about everything love, life, and finances, and everything in between. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So just to get some of the, the, the um, things out of the way, my name is Serena. This is, of course, Serena Elizabeth. Serena is my first name. Elizabeth is my middle name. I chose not to do my first and last name because I am widowed. And I started this channel um, as a peace project um, as I lost my husband and just went into a mode of trying to figure out who I am right here, right now. So no, I'm not my maiden name anymore because you know, that was who I was before I was married. I'm not my married name because although technically, you know, I'm a widow, but like that cloak was, was stripped away from me. So the, my identity is only my first and last name, you know, and I'm just, figuring out who I am from there. So that's the name Serena Elizabeth for the channel, but I am your girl Serena. Um, as I mentioned, I was married. I lost my husband this month last year. The anniversary will actually be on the 21st. I am doing so extremely well. Um, so I, I, I don't know if it's just me coming out of my funk, just, you know, a, a year has passed. And so my body subconsciously, um, psychologically, emotionally, it's kind of like getting used to everything. Um, I, I don't know, but I feel um, I'm in such a good place for this to be the month of his anniversary of passing. It'll be a year this month on the 21st. Um, we have two children. Um, I have a 23-year-old son, Sincere, and a five-year-old daughter, Janae, which if you've watched any of my videos, you've either seen her, heard her, or have heard me talk about her. Uh, and I also have a grandson, Carter. He is three. So that is my little family. Uh, my professional background is sales, specifically real estate. However, at some point in time, I've sold everything from real estate to telecommunication, insurance, like everything on that side, not really like retail, like not in like the stores and, you know, doing um, like that kind of sales, but like uh, C-level uh, type of sales, corporate sales and real estate specifically. And that is my passion. My passion is not necessarily sales. My passion is real estate, the real estate market. That is what I love to do. Um, that is ultimately what I look to get back into on a full-time basis. That is my retirement plan. <laughs> so um, yeah, real estate is my passion. Um, <clears throat> at heart, 
Um, currently, right now, my, my work is not in sales. After I had my daughter, um, I didn't want to go back to the hustle and bustle of sales. So I wanted to get into something with a set schedule so that I wasn't going to be out of the house at all types of the day trying to bust my butt in the field to get the sales and make the money that I needed to make. So I for went the sales and just came into more of a service position. So I currently work for a credit union in a service position, um, specifically uh, dealing with um, mortgages, loans, um, new accounts, things like that. So uh, that is what I currently do at the moment. At my core, I am an entrepreneur. I love um, creating businesses and coming up with business ideas. I, I feel like I'm good at finding an end to a means. So like, you know, I can solve a problem. All of the little intricacies from to get from point A or point B, I would have to, you know, employ to help me see the vision through. But I'm definitely a visionary, and so I can vision a, a, a business and I can see it happen and I can conceptualize it. Um, if somebody tells me that they want to do something or be something, I can quickly come up with ideas of, oh, this is what you should do or you should have this type of business. I can um, help others visualize a business or help others put their thoughts together so that they could see the potential of their thoughts like they might just have individual thoughts but I can see the whole plan so I'm that kind of person so I like to build businesses I like to um, envision things happening and I like to try and put them together to make them work now I don't have all of the wherewithal and I don't have all of the um, skill set to do every single part but I really like to test myself and try um, so over the years I have opened and launched several virtual or online businesses. Um, they may not have necessarily done what I wanted them to do, but with each one that I've launched, each opportunity that I've given myself to try, I've learned something more, I've gotten better. So I will be you know, doing more of that in the upcoming months, and I will be telling you all about you know, those uh, ventures when the time is right. But I, I love doing stuff like that. I guess I'm a little bit of a nerd. I don't know. So my um, favorite music is R&B and hip hop. Um, I love to sing. Um, I love to write music. I um, that is actually like my first love, my first passion. Um, when I was growing up, I actually wanted to be an actress first. I am an 80s baby, so I grew up watching The Huxtables and, um, you know, um, A Different World. And so I wanted to be like Rudy. I, she reminded me of myself and my family structure. And so I wanted to be on TV as a kid. I wanted to be an actress. And then I discovered that I had a, a nice voice and wanted to sing and I used to write poems and those poems turned into songs and I started going to the studio at the age of 13. I had within my first girl group, um, Black Pearl, when I was 13 years old and um, then from that, you know, we went our separate ways because my friends moved away, but I continued on with doing music on a solo level um, in the studios all the way from, I would say, that age up until like my mid-20s. And then at that point, I had already had my son when I was 18, so I kind of felt like, okay, I gave it my shot, I gave it my all. It didn't happen in that time that I had allotted myself. Now I needed to, you know, pull my up and you know kind of um, do what I need to do professionally to create the life that I needed to create to have so that my son could have the life that I wanted him to have and so um, I kind of allowed for my love for music to just be you know something that I love to do but not something that I was pursuing professionally anymore so I love um, R&B and hip hop. I love 90s R&B and hip hop, early 2000s, um, you know, R&B and hip hop. I do like some of the music of today, but it's really not my 
thing so much. I think a lot of it um, sounds alike or I just can't decipher one from the other. So I'm not really connecting with it. But some of them I do really love. But 90s and early 2000s, R&B and hip hop and before. Of course the 70s and 80s and all of that music that's on me. Oh, I love to cook. I'm a really great cook. I have a YouTube channel for cooking. It's called um, Zarina Cooks with Love. Um, I have the ability and the talent to cook really, really well. I can't say that I have a passion for it as I used to because I used to love cooking for my family. And right now my family just consists of, at least in my household, just my daughter and I. My daughter is very picky, so it's just me. So I don't cook nearly as much. And so I've been real slow at uploading over there. But um, hopefully I can get into a groove where I can start uploading more videos on there um, and just bringing the food over to family because I don't have anybody here to eat it. But I really do love cooking. I love reading, I love learning. I love, if it's something that I'm interested in, I am going to dive in head first and just be so over, um, absorbed in it because I just like to know everything that I want to know as quickly as possible. So I will read, research, read, research, read, research, you know, anything that I am interested in so that I can get that knowledge into my family. My family is my everything. I absolutely love my family. I spend a majority of time with my family. My family they're like my best friends because they're who I'm with all the time. My family is very supportive. I'm very supportive of them. Um, I am all about um, seeing my kids uh, being involved in their lives, putting, helping them to figure out what it is that they want to do and then ushering them into whatever those goals are. Like I'm that kind of mom. What do you want to do? Let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to put you in front of every area of within my capacity that I'm able to, to make sure that you can be exposed to that to see if that's really what you wanna do. And also to um, help that, cultivate that and get you in that um, realm, whatever it is that you're working on. I love creating businesses. I think I said that already. I love to create businesses. I love to think about them. I love to figure out, you know, how to solve a problem and um, so I like to do that. Um, I also like to see how far I can go with it. Um, and I, you know, I like the creative aspect of building a business, like the logo, the look of it, the website, like that part of it, you know, making sure it looks like the kind of level that I want it to look at and look like and you know all of like I said before all of the little pieces the intricacies of the business <laughs> depending on how much I know about it you know that's where things begin to you know you need to I need to employ help but I can conceptualize a, a business like that like that so um that's where some of my expertise comes from. That's where some of my knowledge comes from, from the fact that I am an avid reader. I like to read about a lot of things and I have a lot of um, work experience in different fields because of my sales background that have allowed me to be able to come um, knowledgeable about it enough to be able to share with you all and give you all tips and tricks on how to level up as we know this is what this channel is about so that's all i wanted to talk to you all about today just a quick little video just to you know introduce myself welcome you all back to the channel here in the middle of the week because i've missed a couple of weeks and this video is even coming out late in the day but i definitely want to get this out to you thank you all for uh, praying for me with the vid. <laughs> Thank you all for your support. Thank you all for leaving comments as always, sharing this video. Um, we want to continue to grow this channel um, because I feel like this is what I'm called to do. And as I grow and develop mentally, of course, and emotionally and financially, there'll be more and more content coming to this channel, more and more things for me to share with you all. And and um, so what I do want to announce is what we'll be talking about on Thursdays for the next couple of weeks. We're going to be talking about 
side hustles. You know, we're gonna be talking about what we need to be thinking about um, to bring in additional streams of income. What kind of things can we invest in quick, quickly with little capital, little to no capital that might bring you good return um, so that you can start to develop multiple streams of income. You know, a lot of us are enjoying watching luxury aesthetic, but we don't necessarily live that way, or maybe we don't know how to attain that lifestyle. And so, um, you know, being able to have multiple streams of income is what is known that you need to have in order to be able to live in America. To be able to live anywhere and be financially free, you cannot just rely on one income and you certainly can't just rely on one job, especially when you're working for someone else because you're just a paycheck away or could be a paycheck away from poverty because if you lose your job, then what? So you have to have multiple streams of income. So in our video next week, I will be sharing with you several tips, several ideas um, that you can start right then and there to generate additional streams of income. And we'll do that for the next couple of weeks. So again, I wanna thank you for all tuning into today's video. I've missed you guys so much. I'm feeling so much better. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. My dog is back there crying and <laughs> I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.